What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about whether or not Unique is dead, the chain Ronnie took from his neck, and I'll give you a detailed breakdown of the fight and deep analysis based on how the things happen till the end. So sit tight, and based on this breakdown, you will judge if Unique is dead or not. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, let's get straight into the topics. Now, before you jump straight into the comment to write based on what you saw in the episode, listen to the possibilities first before making your conclusion. Do you believe Unique is dead or he's still alive? Now, let me prove something to you. Let's start from the fight. Unique obviously started the fight and Ronnie has to also flex his muscles. They fought through punches and Unique put Ronnie to the ground. Now, mind you, Ronnie's intention was not to kill his brother. Same way Unique wasn't fighting to kill Ronnie. If you pay attention to Ronnie and Juliana's conversation, he wasn't going with the idea of killing his brother over nothing. So let's bear that in mind. Now, let's come back to the fight. As Unique walks away, Ronnie grabbed an aluminum pipe from the bin and chased his brother. Now, let's consider where the fight happened. It was Unique's clothing shop, I guess. Hence, there can be heavy-duty metal strong enough to kill someone in one or two hits. And this pipe actually looks like a hanger pipe that they normally use as a crossbar to hang cloths and curtains. But let me know what you also think in the comment section about this particular pipe and its strength. Now, as Ronnie approached Unique from behind, he knocked him from the back. Now, the first hit from Ronnie with the pipe knocked Unique out and he went unconscious. If you realize the subsequent hitings after the first powerful hit, Unique wasn't struggling anymore. If the first hit didn't make him unconscious, like he would have struggled a bit with the subsequent hit that came after. But if you study the scene closely, there wasn't any form of struggle from Unique, as if he wasn't the guy who just punched his brother multiple times to the ground. Now, Ronnie went further to punch Unique once in the face again, then he realized the guy was out. Now, let's look at a similar event about Scrappy. Scrappy was brutally beaten more than even Ronnie did Unique. One of his eyes was damaged, his body was filled with his own blood, but Scrappy survived with one eye. Now, if you know one thing about power, People who are only beaten down, some way, somehow, gets back up. Unless you shoot them in the head and confirm the person is not breathing anymore. Another example is Ghost and Kanan's fight, where Ghost thought he had finished Kanan and made him crispy in the fire, in the locked warehouse, only for Kanan to break out and survive. Now, ironically, Unique told Marvin that until that body shows up dead, he ain't dead. This statement was when Marvin hired Marco, Sally's son, to kill Tony for him and that job went left. So as we speak, there is a high possibility that Unique survived this. But we'll all wait and see if Unique's body will remain in the woods till the following morning. Now, if Unique comes out dead as some of you perceived, how could they possibly find out that Unique is dead? Now, the fight I believe happened in his shop. Unique's baby mama probably started looking for him and some way, somehow, reported he was missing. The police probably then checked his shop and found his blood on the carpet without the body and they assumed whoever did it got rid of the body. Just like it happened to Crown and Lou got rid of the body. Then Unique's girl confronts Raquel about Unique with a gun, which I believe she might have gotten from Ronnie. But this girl we all know is not a killer and she won't be able to handle a gun in front of Raquel. Now, if you remember the scene between Ghost and Sean in the garage and how Ghost skillfully took the gun from Sean, Raquel will do the same thing and take the gun from Panessa here. But I doubt Raquel will shoot her though because she has too many suspicions around her lately. Now, Raquel can only suspect Ronnie to be brave enough and wild enough to take his own brother out and send his baby mama after her. Because already, Unique earlier told her Ronnie is out there wilding and he was the one who took out Dean. So now it's up to Raquel what she will do with that information should she suspect Ronnie might come after her too. Now, should Unique survive this, then there is no way the feds will report that he is still alive, hoping that they might get some information from him as to who wanted to kill him, just like the case of Howard and Lauren in Power Book 2 Ghost. Let me know what you also think in the comments section below. 
but I do feel Unique might not give the police any information and possibly act as though he can't also remember what happened. The last thing he might possibly remember is that he was at his shop and that's all. He saw nothing nor heard nothing. It will be assumed that the person attacked him from behind and that was all. Now, with all these things happening to Raquel, she might go to jail for Unique's murder if indeed Unique is gone for good. But Raquel, I believe, will have an alibi since at the time all these were happening, she was at the station with her lawyer answering questions so there can be a good alibi for Raquel. Now, what can possibly send Raquel to jail? You know Ronnie got no love for Raquel ever since he got out and he was wishing they had taken her out back in the days, right? Now, Ryan taking Unique's chain filled with blood here can only mean one thing. He's most likely going to frame someone with Unique's chain and Raquel is on top of the list. This will only be the reason Ronnie will hold on to Unique's chain. Now, someone will say, but Unique has a lot of chains. So why will Ronnie hold on to just that one to frame Raquel for his death? Yes, that's fact. But if you pay close attention to Unique and his chains, this particular one never leaves his neck even if he was sleeping. Evidently, here in the scene where Ronnie woke him up, he had this chain on. So significantly, whoever takes this chain off Unique's neck was Unique's killer. So if this chain is found anywhere near Raquel's home or her newly bought shop, then trust me, the evidence will stick well. Just like she once did with Unique when Kanan shot Howard wearing Unique's jacket. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, still on Raquel, if Raquel goes to jail, it might be for life. She kept saying she's out of the game and we all know what happens if someone says he or she is out. In this drug game, it's either you end up in jail or dead. But then, Raquel needs to go away for Kanan to develop on the street. With her presence, there is no way we can see how Kanan became ruthless. So if Raquel isn't going to die but will end up in prison, then she'll be looking at life in there. This will tend to explain why Kanan got out of prison in the OG power. He told Ghost he went to see his mom's first before coming to him. I just went to go see my mom, came straight here. So now we don't know what Kanan meant by he went to pass by his mom's. It could also mean a lot of things. It could also mean that Raquel was in prison and he paid her a visit. Secondly, it could also mean Raquel died and he went to her graveyard. It could also mean that Raquel was old somewhere and being taken care of. It could mean a lot of things, but let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, Unique's death, if that is the case, will make things hot around Raquel. Why? Because just when Crown's case seemed to have closed down a bit, thanks to her lawyer, another murder case has happened to someone she was recently intimate with. Even though there might not be strong evidence against Raquel, Unique's baby mama might use things Raquel did in the past against her if possible, like the shooting of a child with her father and the framing of Unique as the person who shot Howard. Now, alternatively, what could possibly make Unique's baby mama have some doubt about Raquel being the killer is she got to know she and Unique were sleeping together. So if she had any intentions of killing him, she would have done that long ago before Ronnie even suspected anything. But let me know what you also think in the comments section. Do you strongly believe Unique is dead or this is another metaphor in power. Do you also think Ronnie wants to frame someone with Unique's chain to take the fall or he just took the chain as a symbol of taking his throne back? Mind you, if Ronnie keeps that chain, he might not be able to use it. Why? Because Unique had that chain on his neck before he left his baby mama in search for Ronnie. So if his body is found and the chain is not on his neck, it will raise suspicion as to where Ronnie got his brother's chain from, knowing very well that among Unique's chains, he sleeps with that particular one. Drop your thoughts and comments, theories in the comment section. Let's have this conversation about whether or not Unique is dead or still alive. Now let's talk about Famous and Kanan. Kanan is still becoming unfair to Famous considering the guy is trying his best to live a life he wasn't built for. Now don't forget this gun setup Raquel did will definitely come to light and trust me, I still believe Kanan will off Famous because of that. So in the meantime, 
they are still building this conflict between them so that the day Canaan will get to know that Famous knew the gun was in his bag, he will have no other reason than to kill his best friend. Now, finally, let me touch on Jukebox and Marvin. Now, I must say I'm loving how Jukebox and Marvin's story is becoming. In every episode, it's like their bond keeps growing better as father and daughter. Marvin seemed now to be cool with Jukebox's sexuality, but Jukebox now seemed to be scared of a relationship because of her ex, Nicole. But I believe moving forward, will be seeing more of these emotional reactions from Jukebox when it comes to relationship. But from the look of things, I feel Aisha is probably both into men and women. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. But remember, this Marvin and Jukebox relationship that is growing beautifully. Don't forget in power, there is no story like happily ever after. With all honesty, I'm just scared with what they are doing with Marvin and Jukebox because there is a high possibility that they will end up killing Marvin soon. But let me hear from you. And once again, Happy New Year to everyone, especially my loyal subscribers and my commenters. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.